go get him again. Welcome back to the Robzoi channel. I'm your host, Mark, and on the docket today, we have an unboxing first impression video on my channel on the brand of Roger et Galet. Um, this is a first on my channel. I haven't spoken about this brand at all. It is a brand that I stumbled upon at discounters. Um, they have a minty one that I really, really wanted. Um, this is a return product from Fragflex. And as you can tell, it is a return product because it's open like this. I don't know, I can't trust people that open their <laughs> fragrance boxes like this, uh, keep the cellophane going. Um, I'm a, I don't know, <laughs> I'm, I'm not a guy like that. Oh, this is their vetiver based fragrance. So it's gonna be my first dip. I've never smelled anything from this brand ever in my whole journey. Um, I absolutely love unboxings like this. It's just a full on surprise. I have no idea um, the quality of it, uh, you know, what kind of, What's the identity of this brand? Um, this one called Lum Vetiver. Um, they have all these Lum releases. Um, this is not a new brand either. This is, you know, Depuis 18, it's all scribbled, 62, I think, 1862. So this is a brand that, I don't know, there's the notes. Mandarin, Vetiver, Cinnamon, Myrrh. Okay, so anyway, this is, should be a, a vetiver based fragrance. Are we gonna get a clean or a rooty vetiver? I don't know. Now, if you haven't done it yet, what are you doing? What are you waiting for? Subscribe, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button. I'm pretty sure I, if I'm not the first one to review this on YouTube, which I love being the first, um, I'm usually last, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I absolutely love delving into brands like this um, just to have some content on the line if somebody's interested. And I'm still interested in the minty one from this. I don't care how this unboxing goes. Um, I still want to smell the minty one from this brand. Uh, so let's see. If I haven't said it yet, smash the like button. Much appreciated. Absolutely love it. Um, I really appreciate everybody that you know comments, likes, and subscribes to my channel. Merci beaucoup. Let's take a look at the note breakdown. It's going to be beside me. I don't think Fragrantica's note breakdown is the same as the one on the box. So we are going, and again, as you can see beside me here, I always say like these notes are taken from Fragrantica, but don't trust Fragrantica. <laughs> so they have Mandarin Orange here, Vetiver, Cinnamon, Myrrh. That's the note breakdown on the actual box. I trust them more than I trust Fragrantica. So this was released in 2019, but I feel like it was a re-release. Like I, I, I went on Fragrantica on this fragrance. And again, there's hardly any reviews on this, which is awesome. I can't wait to delve into it. So let's unbox it. And again, like, why can't you do that? Why do you have to keep the cellophane? I don't know. Anyway, now the cellophane's dancing like it, it's no tomorrow on the ground. So this was a returned product. Uh, who oh, somebody did like one or two sprays of it and said, nope, no thank you. <laughs> so the bottle itself, very simplistic. Uh, vetiver with a Y. Um, is this an eau de toilette or EDP? It's an EDT, so eau de toilette. Uh, it's almost like a rubbery, it's plastic, but it almost feels almost rubbery. Lots of, um, yeah, their history is Paris, 1862. So they have lots of history. Roger Galet, um, great yeah, attention to detail. So um, there's detail on the cap. There's detail on, on the atomizer here. A um, really solid, but it almost feels like it's like something from Hermes or something, like it's really well done. So let's see what we get here on the strip. Oh, atomizer is pressurized. You can uh, you control your mist. Let's see what I get. Lum Vetiver, Nose Eleanor Messinet. Clean Vetiver. Clean, think gray Vetiver, kind of like that. You got those citruses on that Mandarin, that orange, um, very light citrusy. There's some sparkle to it, but the Vetiver has, and I kind of like that this kind of Vetiver at some points. I like my darker vetivers, but the clean vetivers, this is like signature scent worthy, older man um, wearing this at the office. No one's gonna get a, a offended on this. And the clean vetiver, just like gray vetiver from Tom Ford, it, it really is in that 
realm, that cusp of, you know, if you want to go Tom Ford, go ahead. But this, I don't know how much it is at discount. It's probably fairly cheap, like probably $50, give or take. Sparkling citrus with a little bit of a rooty, clean rooty vetiver. It just has a little bit of that rootiness. I love these, get, oh, I'm losing the vetiver. No, don't tell me I'm losing the vetiver already. It's the end of the day. Let's see how this one performs. Now, that was weird that I lost the vetiver already because there's not much to this fragrance. There's, I don't get much myrrh, cinnamon, no. Oh, a little bit of, a little bit of that cinnamon touch, a little bit of that, oh, just, a, ooh, just a little bit. Here it's very, wow, it's very tame on strip like it's it's losing <laughs> i don't know if this is gonna last if i put money on it it's probably gonna last three four hours um yeah so yeah at the end of the day it reminds me of something like it's just a straightforward and it's kind of like where gray vetiver went like an old school vetiver you know classy um a little bit modernized, but really it, it it's for, you start getting grays in your beard like I am, <laughs> you know, in your late 30s, early 40s and beyond. Um, I'm not saying that anybody younger can't wear this. No, 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 it's just the, the way I'm picturing this is just classy, wearing this at the office, um, not offensive, not anything crazy in your perfume, you know, taste. You, you just want something easy to wear. Um, this is that typical guy in a gray suit, white shirt, you know, just a, a regular gray tie, nothing, you know, you don't have the crazy socks with like, you know, some sort of logo on it or no, 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 you're that type of guy, like gray, like look at this, gray, like gray suit. I don't know why I pictured that, but exactly that. Cleaned up, easy to wear, signature scent worthy. Um, you can wear this in almost all seasons, mostly for spring um, because it's a clean vetiver. Um, it has a little bit of rootiness, but oh, the performance. I don't know about the performance. Like a, you can kind of tell, uh, you know, when, when it loses the main theme, which is vetiver off a strip within 30 seconds. I don't know. Yeah, and, and the cinnamon in here uh, doesn't have like that piquet. It, it, it really doesn't have much bite to it. It's not red hot. It's not, it's just a, a tame cinnamon. And the myrrh, I haven't got, well, you can say maybe a little bit of myrrh, but that's about it. The vetiver is very light. My personal opinion, just off, and again, this is an unboxing video. So again, uh, keep that in mind. You know, I haven't worn this for days. I don't have performance, you know, written down. I, I haven't tried anything yet. But my early thoughts is this is a, <laughs> how can I say this? Um, uh, gray vetiver on a budget, like your McDonald's of gray vetiver. Um, I feel like there's going to be performance issues. Now I'm just guessing it's an educated guess, but I'm guessing the vetiver in here isn't as strong. I feel like I'm losing it. I'm already feeling like I'm losing it already, which is not a good sign. So personally go with great vetiver Tom Ford. Yes. You're going to be paying probably three times the amount, maybe four, depending on where you can get this. But you're gonna thank me later, just as the quality, the vividness and, and all that, um, this is not showing me that. So unfortunately, kind of a letdown. Um, it, it really you know, showed some promise a little bit and this is not that bad, but I'm kind of getting worried that you know the other one, the mint one that I want, how long is that gonna last, right? And how vivid is it gonna be? Is it, if it's gonna be in the same vein as this, I'm not gonna get much out of it, but you know, anything that gets compared to a really great, I'm not going to call it a masterpiece, but an excellent clean vetiver, which is great vetiver by Tom Ford. Anything that gets compared to that has some quality behind it. So there is some quality here. Yeah. So anyway, I got this at fragflex.com.
as usual, you know, returned product. Uh, you can use my code TFG10 to get 10% off uh, if you wish to have uh, a fragrance on there. It's site-wide, so you don't have to buy this one. Um, I'd be interested in seeing how much they charge for this. I'm assuming, I'm assuming this is a $50 fragrance, like bargain bin, like Canadian. So bargain bin for my American friends, it's almost free. Shipping's probably more expensive than this. Uh, <laughs> but L'Homme Vetiver by Roger et Galet. Eau de Toilette. Ah. Mm. Little disappointed. Um, but there's... There's some good parts and there's some bad parts. I don't know. The bad parts are kind of a little stronger than the good parts, in my personal opinion. Now that you heard my take, I'd love to see yours in the comments below. I don't know how many people have smelled this. Probably nobody. We're going to have crickets in the comments section. If you have tried this brand, Roger et Galet, please comment below. Let us know, especially if you smelt that mint one. Tell me. Please let me know. Is it invigorating mint? Does it smell like gum, toothpaste? What? What does it smell like? Uh, should I sniff that one out? That's the one I really want to smell from it. And it will be kind of like my, that's my pacer for this brand. If you can do an okay mint, you're okay in my books, honestly. And as always, a greater pour fragrance will make a lasting impression. Choose your vetiver-based fragrance wisely. Thanks for watching YouTube. Have a good one.